Welcome everybody to the Yeti vs. Blood Dragon battles. We got the best of five rounds. Who's it going to be? The Yeti or the Blood Dragon? We got the Yeti on the retreat in round one. He took one from the Blood Dragon to the back there. Now he's raising up. I think the Yeti's a little bit ticked off here. He's uh, growling at the... Oh, now he's on the retreat once again. Is the Blood Dragon going to have to send another laser beam toward the Yeti? Now he's coming back. He's thinking about climbing up that wall, but it's pretty high. Oh, now he's getting high. He's getting some uh, uh, air there. Coming down, raining fist down on the Blood Dragon. The Blood Dragon swings him up around by the, his tail there and gets a win for the Blood Dragons. The Yeti is down in round one. That's one for the Blood Dragons. Look at look at the replay here. We got the uh, Yeti roaring out. We got the Blood Dragon roaring out. And the Yeti here uh, gets a little bit scared. He wants to climb the walls or uh, get out of here one way or another. Maybe he's just getting a strategic position. He definitely uh, is turning his back here. Not a good move to be doing that against the Blood Dragon. And that really is what ticked him off. He figured, you know what, this dude really wants to fight. I'm going to bring a fight to him. And that's when he gets his uh, long arms there. He's got quite the reach here. You can see as he roars out. And he decides to make a move here on the Blood Dragon uh, eventually. But he turns his back before that and thinks, you know what, maybe I can make it up out of here. We had to move the battle arena to a bigger arena. I want to give a shout out to this creator here for uh, allowing me to use this. If you guys want to find his, his thing, I'll put his, uh, uh, at the end of the video, I'll put his channel uh, or his, uh, whatever, his uh, god dang uh, map up there. There we go. Okay, he gets a punch in on the Blood Dragon, sends him sliding, and the Blood Dragon quickly uh, has a retort for that. The Yeti's trying to get him around the neck and he uses his tail, the Blood Dragon does, to sweep up the Yeti and take him down. As you can see from the replay, it was a hard fought battle once they got into it. Now, let's see if there's going to be any retreats in round two. What's going to happen? Here they go. They're roaring out. They're ready to go as the bell rings there. Another retreat by the Yeti and a shot in the back. That's a great long range attack that the Blood Dragon has. He hasn't even really moved yet, but he's already put damage on the Yeti. You gotta love that. Here comes the Yeti now, all ticked off, storming like he's gonna, you know, say something back to the Blood Dragon. Needs to not use his words, but his actions. There they go, a pounce. Oh, a, a blast there from the Yeti. Gets him around the neck, flips him up over the Yeti. Gets him up over his back, pounds him down there, and takes down the Blood Dragon in round two. Look at that. We got fireworks going off and everything. Now, let's check it out here. Once they roar out, the Yeti, once again here, they don't want to, you know, they see the size of the Blood Dragon, and they get a little intimidated. They're used to picking on people. Uh, less than their own size and he gets one in the back but as you can see here the damage that was done was not enough to put the Yeti at a, enough of a disadvantage here to uh, get taken down once again by the Blood Dragon. The uh, Blood Dragon uh, had it coming to him as you can see here the, the Yeti is storming back and it looks like the Blood Dragon is getting ready to turn his back on the Yeti that would not be a good move. But these dudes are smart. They, uh, you can see when they get alerted, their uh, uh, the uh, things on the back, they're on their back, change colors and everything else like that. So this dude was on high alert. He pounces on the Yeti and he uses a nice roll maneuver against the Blood Dragon. The Yeti punches the Blood Dragon. He was able to recover as we saw in round one, but this time the Yeti was able to get him around the neck, flip him up over on two. Uh, his back and then just start ground pounding the blood dragon around the head there to take him down as you can see there the spine on his back goes out and his lifeless body turns into fireworks you gotta love that now in round three let's see he's gonna pull ahead right now we're all tied up one for the yeti one for the blood dragon what's gonna happen here we're doing best of five okay the uh, blood dragon's taking some shots here it gets it around the neck again flipped up over the yeti uses the same maneuver and it's enough to keep down the blood dragon so we got two for the yeti now the blood dragon's gonna have to make up some uh some ground here in the next round let's look at the replay 
We have, uh, you know, the Yeti here. He doesn't uh, get intimidated this time. He takes it right to the Blood Dragon, lets him get a pounce on, uses his weight against the Blood Dragon, gets that punch in on him, and after that, the Blood Dragon just was not able to recover here. The Yeti was ready for him, flips him up over again, uses the same maneuver that worked before, and maybe he's going to try it again now next round. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Maybe he'll just keep it rolling here. We'll find out what will happen next. So we got two for the Yeti, one for the Blood Dragon. Let's see what happens in the next round now. Okay, the Blood Dragon showing that size. Pretty intimidating. Will the Yeti be on the retreat? No. Oh, my God. He takes it right to him. He's real confident now. And uh, gets him around the neck, and the sweep maneuver is used, and gets the Yeti on his back. The Blood Dragon takes him down, and now we got two and two. It's going to the final round. What will happen here? The Yeti goes up in smoke. Look at this. This was a quick round. The Yeti, I think, maybe got overconfident. Went uh, right at the Yeti. Excuse me. The Yeti went right at the Blood Dragon. The Blood Dragon did make the first move, though. And look at that, the Yeti didn't like it. Really sent the Blood Dragon down there. This is a big old lizard though. You can't just scare these dudes away quick. Look at how he gets up under around his, his ankle there. Sweeps him up, gets him on his back, and uh, the Yeti's uh, ground game is not too good there. He laid down on his back and that was long enough to have the Blood Dragon take him down. Now let's find out what happens in the final round. Is it going to be the Yeti? Is it going to be the Blood Dragon? Both of them have some great attacks here. The Blood Dragon, man, it's hard to stop that sweet maneuver, however. Let's see what happens, though. And they're going right at each other. Okay, they're going for it. We have a punch by the uh, Yeti. And, oh, uh, gets him around the neck. This is not looking good. Flips him around. Uses that ground pound. And he takes him down. The Yeti is victorious. And the best of five rounds. What a battle we had here. Let's check out the uh, final replay here. And then we're going to go back and review the previous round replays as well. To see really what all went down. First, uh, in this final round, we had a pounce by the Blood Dragon here. He's really going for it. And just in the nick of time, the Yeti turns around, catches the Blood Dragon with a fist here. And just gets him right up under the neck flips him over and the ground pound is a powerful maneuver by the uh, Yeti. As long as you don't get him on the ground, uh, the Yeti is probably going to be victorious. It looks like what a round we had there. Now in the first round we had the uh, a flying, really uh, high flying maneuver by the Yeti. And oh, look at that. Grabs him right around the mouth there. The Yeti is uh, trying to take down the Blood Dragon. Gets swept up there and is taken down. That's a great maneuver by the Blood Dragon there to take him down in round one. He used that again too coming up, but the Yeti man really got him in there with those, with those fists flying. Those fists were definitely flying. Now, shout out to this arena as well. Look at the beauty we have here. And, uh,. I forgot his name, but I'll put the card up there so you guys can see who created this. And maybe you can download it for yourselves if you want to as well. Now look at the chokehold that the Yeti has here. Followed by the flip over the shoulder into the ground pound. Just a, a terrible uh, combo for the Blood Dragon. It's hard for him to recover from that. And he's taken down once again there by that coming up. And uh, let's see here. Okay, now we have the pounce from the Blood Dragon. It's kicked off by the Yeti. Nice little, I mean, he's got a little bit of a ground game. But the uh, Blood Dragon's able to flip up over, go back at it. But look, he can't even reach him. You know, he's like, you know, getting picked on here. And then just ground pounded into submission. He's trying to get some teeth on him there. The Blood Dragon was, but was not able to do it. Now, uh... Let's see what happened in the uh, final two rounds here. The uh, Yeti is on a roll, man. Blood Dragon it was a tough competition, too. I love that uh, raining fist maneuver by the Yeti there. Grabs him around the uh, the neck area here, and then he gets swept up and around. See, he's got some time to recover. If he could, uh, I think he got knocked out by maybe that, uh, that back of his head there hitting the ground. I don't know, but... 
Seems like he could have got a foot up or something start kicking at the guy. Dang. Blood Dragon, if you got to while you're on your back. And uh, he wasn't able to really recover there. Is taken down. But in the final round, here we go. The Yeti's able to take it home for the Yetis. He uh, gets pounced on there. Does a good job of recovering that time. And uh, as you'll see here, uh, really, really that chokehold is what does it there. Followed by the flip maneuver and the ground pound once again. So it was close, but the Yeti squeaked it out there in the final round. So these competitors are both tough. They're pretty evenly matched, but the Yeti got it today. So anyway, till next time, this has been Rusty Fluger. Rusty Fluger, over and out.